A very good morning to you. My name is Daniel Wahome and welcome to Sports Check on this Monday morning on KBC Channel 1. It is a day when the Chief Justice, uh, Chief Justice Martha Kome, is going to be admitting advocates to the bar. This is going to be taking place at the Supreme Court buildings here in Nairobi. Our reporter at that event is Fred Mwoki. And the Agenda Committee is going to be meeting the chair of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the uh, Wafula Chibukati Kamji. Medza is our reporter at the Kenya School of Government. And Purity Museo is also following up on the Council of Governors who are holding a meeting today and are about to address the nation. That's part of the news out look that we have got for this day on this Monday, the last day of February 2022. And on sports check, you know, the conversation is always about sport. And over the weekend, there was something that two weeks ago we had missed out on when having a conversation about the Kenya Cup, that Kenya Harlequin Football Club could be relegated. We focus so much on Nakuru, Homeboys, Nondis and Impala. The relegation decision was made. Giants of Kenyan rugby with a combined total of 25 titles have gone down. It's the season that the Giants well, will be having that conversation at the tail end. And on Friday and Saturday in the capital of Oman, Muscat, we shall be having the World Race Walking Team Championships. Kenya is represented there by amongst others Heriston Wanyonyi and Emily Ngay. They will be leaving the country uh, Tuesday night. They are expected in Oman Muscat on Wednesday and we shall be having a conversation with the head of the delegation. He's going to be speaking to us from Riyadh, the house where they are finalizing the plans. His name is George Karyuk. He's a race walk, uh, walking coach. He's going to be telling us about the team that he has and also hear from under 20 champion Harry Stone Wanyoni at that point. And also over the weekend, a long tail, something that's been going on for two years plus but for the last 11 months. Kenya's cricket has been under normalization, a committee that was appointed by the Cabinet Secretary for Sports, uh, Ambassador Amina Mohammed, and was led by Lady Justice Retired Joyce Alwuch, and by the Vice Chair was Justice Retired Alijina Bishram. What they have sat, they sat and taken through Cricket Kenya through the review of the Constitution, it was adopted and also the registration of the counties that has been ensured and on Saturday they held the elections and a new board was elected. Partial board as some did not pass, uh, meet the criteria that was set out by the independent electoral board that was led by Dr. Ken Wayne Mutuma. But we've got the newly elected chair of the Cricket Kenya Board, Manoj Patel, in studio with us. He's on my immediate uh, left. And we also have got the county repre uh, association's representative, Kennedy Obuya. He is better known as Kenya's opening batsman and wicket keeper. And for Manoj Patel, he played for Kenya um, at the 2002 Under-19 Cricket World Cup uh, in New Zealand. And it's quite interesting that the two gentlemen, the jackets that they have, are the ones they don't when representing the country. Manoj Patel had this way back in 2002, and Kennedy had that in 1994 when they played at the ICC Trophy and, yeah, qualified for the World Cup. So we'll be getting into that conversation straight away. But first, let me introduce our sign language interpreter, who incidentally also has got a shade of green, Lensa Odingo. So, straight to this conversation, gentlemen, and let me start with you, uh, Chairman. The whole process of, you know, getting to be elected, what drove you to pursue this position of chairmanship of a body that has now to revive cricket in the country? Uh, first of all, thank you, Mr. Wahome, for inviting us here. Uh, uh, actually, it was uh, it was a difficult. It, it was a challenge. We all understand, yeah, because it's not easy when you come in a board where everything is messed up and whatever to start. Uh, it is to start from. We can say from zero, yeah. Uh, but uh, thanks to my friends, uh, our legends. Uh, one is with me here, Mr. Kennedy Obuya, and uh, many more. Thomas Odoyo is there, Steve Ticolo, Suji Brothers. They motivated me, yeah, and they, they, they always they have backed me, yeah, backed up me, and uh, the confidence they've given me. And uh, they said, yes, Manoj, you can do it. Uh, because as I said, uh, we have done a few international tournaments when the board was not there. And uh, believe me, that is a big challenge to do something 
uh, where you don't know where you'll start from, uh, how you will go on, how will you will succeed, and to bring uh, international uh, sponsors, uh, obviously sponsors here in Kenya currently, you know, interest has gone down because our team is uh, uh, not there on TV every now and then, not like before, yeah. Before, whenever we put our TV on, uh, once in a month, you will find your national team always there, your national heroes, you're watching them. Uh, so it was a challenge, uh, but we did it, uh, yeah. Well, Kennedy, you've seen this process uh, and as it unfolded when you know there was the conversation, there was the Mombasa Accord eventually came to normalization. What has been the process been like and how have you adopted to pick a, a stance that would bring back you know, some order to the game and a review and redevelopment of you know, the, the game? I know it may be painful to get back to where you, know, you were playing at a semi-final of a Cricket World Cup, but what has that journey been? Uh, I, I, I think it's been a long journey and the last two, three years it's been quite tough for Kenyan cricket and not only three years. As my chair said, where we were and where we are now is something to really, really, really think about. Uh, having said that, uh, I think we should thank Amina Mohammed, uh, Justice Alwatch, and the electrical committee for who did the elections. I think it was a high time whoever was going to be elected, yeah, He's a chairman for all of us. So he's a chairman and it's our interest to bring the cricket back. I may not get the position that I want, but the most important thing is how do we support the chairman who's in charge now, Manoj, for us to bring the game back. That is going to be very, 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 very crucial, especially for us ex-cricketers, yeah? The government has done their part by trying to bring us back to all together and to have an election. ICC has supported the process, yeah? Now it's upon us, we cricketers, to try and push it back. The constitution which, which was there, and uh, which was there before, and which is there now, it's quite, quite, quite different from each other. So we, have lo we are looking at a constitution which was only based on three counties, yeah? Mm -hmm. And now we are looking at a county which is going, a constitution is going to be, which is going to govern more than 24 counties. And hopefully it will govern 47 counties. Well, and I'll be coming to, you know, the counties thing. And Kennedy, uh, through the adoption process for, of the Constitution, some of the things that uh, came clear would, was that counties have a huge role to play. What has been the interest for people who've... Um, because now we've seen, for example, Mano, we may have a chairman here, but we know he's representing Kilifi. You represent a different county, and you're now over the county represent, uh, representation. What are the key aspects of this constitution that are different from the previous one? Uh, the first, <laughs> first of uh, f the most important thing of, of the third constitution that I'm saying, which is so much the different, is mm -hmm. it has opened to all the counties. So the 24 counties. Yes, cricket is still very strong in Nairobi and Mombasa, but we were really, really, really trying to push that how can we get 44, we have 50 million Kenyans, mm -hmm. how do we get 50 million Kenyans involved? And how do a kid in uh, Kilifi or in Kiambu or in Vihiga or in Sia get the same opportunity as the kid in Kenya? And I always give this example very much. Uh, when rugby was there before, it was a so-called closed doors, mm -hmm. yeah? And it was just only being played among the top schools and in Gong Road, yeah? If you talk about rugby now, yeah, it's spread everywhere. And that's my dream, and I hope that's my chairman's dream, to make sure that how do we spread the game from two counties to about 23 counties, which we have at the moment, yeah? And to about 47 counties. It's going to be a challenge, but I think it's a positive challenge that the Constitution has opened it up very clearly. That if you look at the delegates who are there on, sat on, sat on Saturday, it will, they will bring a big difference because most of them, majority of them are teachers who are involved in schools. Mm -hmm. yeah? So through schools, yeah, we will definitely get kids. And that's where the clubs will come from. Now let me come to you, Chairman. And Looking at the new board that's there, uh, you are the chairman, then you've got uh, Maina Kamau, uh, former acting uh, commissioner for sport, as your vice chair. You've got Kalpesh Solanki as your treasurer. 
and uh, Paulino Mamo was elected unopposed as the director of women's cricket and uh, county and associates representative is Kennedy here. Looking at this initial composition of the board, what is the first conversation that you've had? Uh, first conversation, obviously, uh, strategic plan, yeah. Uh, we, we are already working on our strategic plan, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, normalizing our status at ICC, that is very important. Yeah, and uh, secondly, we need to bring, uh, bring back the major counties. They said uh, Nairobi Cricket Association, uh, Mombasa, uh, CCA Coast Cricket mm -hmm. Association, and uh, Rift Valley. Yeah, uh, we need to bring them under one umbrella, as I said. There are so many programs they started with, and uh, most of us, we have uh, learned so many things from their programs, yeah. So we, the, our first thing is to bring them back here. Mm -hmm. um, you've also mentioned, you've talked about normalizing the, um, you know, the relationship within the cricket family. We know that, uh, uh, I mean, for a place like Nakuru, that's um, the heart at the moment of women's rugby, I'm sorry, women's cricket in Kenya. <coughs> Uh, Kennedy has just infected me with that. Uh, women's cricket is very strong there. Mm -hmm. And some of the major grounds that would be accepted, uh, say, for a national team assignment, are in Nairobi. What, uh, what's Nairobi saying? What is Nakuru saying? Uh, first of all, uh, you are right. I will apologize for not mentioning women cricket. Uh, we, we have uh, really strong uh, teams, women we <laughs> have. And uh, it is really easy to bring women's, yeah? Mm -hmm. Women's cricket, uh, rather than even men's. Obviously, men's we are working. We need to bring our national team mm -hmm. on the ground now because it's a long time now we don't have a team, yeah? Uh, so women's, we, when I talk about cricket, obviously it's about men's and uh, women's cricket. Yeah, so mm -hmm. even we would like to, as soon as possible, uh, we bring our national team into the field. Yeah, because we mm -hmm. very soon we are having uh, our uh, international tournaments, which is on Kennedy, I think, July. Is it yes, in July? Yeah. We, are having, yeah. we are having two major tournaments. All right. We'll be coming to those tournaments. We get back to a conversation about cricket. And over the weekend, a new Cricket Kenya board was elected. And today, the normalization committee that was appointed by Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed is going to be presenting their final report and also making their returns to the International Cricket Council, the ICC. And this is after the normalization period of about 11 months um, from March, late March last year. And it has come to a close officially today after Saturday's election of a new board. And in studio, we've got the chairman, uh, Manoj Patel, who was elected chair of the Cricket Kenya board. And we also have got Kennedy Obuya, who was unopposed as a uh, counties and associations representative. Also members of the board, Maina Kiruma Kamau, who is a former acting commissioner for sport. The treasurer is Kalpesh Solanki, and Paulino Mamo is the director of women's cricket. And, Chairman, you are, you know, telling us about how you're going to get about, you know, uh, re getting cricket active in the right way and involving the, uh, Nairobi because, number one, you need to get the players active because you mentioned there is national team duty coming around June and July. You can continue from there. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> For that, uh, uh, as I said, you know, before the players were jumping uh, directly to the national team just from our tournament, so we need to get the elite, uh, yeah, so where we can have uh, six teams uh playing and from there i think it will be easier for even selectors uh to select the team there uh as we are having we don't have uh, that much time uh, very soon i think june july we have the national tournaments yeah mm -hmm. so we have uh, plans for that and kennedy let me just come to you about uh what the constitution i still remember the icc representative speaking in uh like October, I think, early November last year. And the whole conversation was about the role of a development director. Um, and I'll be coming, Chairman, you know, about the appointments, the CEO and the development yeah. director. We'll be coming back to that. But looking at the county structures, what is it that you're looking at, uh, having been a coach <laughs> here in the country and also in Australia? I, th I think the counties will play a very big role. Mm -hmm. First of all, how with this CBC coming in, uh, we thought hard, very, very, very hard, and we thought that 
with the CBC coming in, which is going to be rural. So it's, we want to partner, especially with the government, yeah, the county government. That's going to be very, 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 very crucial. If we partner with the county government, because we're introducing cricket into those areas, yeah. So the county government, we will, uh, we as Cricket Kenya, with the blessing of the of the chairman, we are going to look at two main areas. Our main area is going to be to provide the expertise and to provide the equipment. We'll try and support in that. Their areas will be to try and get us the kids out and to try and get us certain venues or certain grounds. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's very, 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 very important, especially now where I'll say it as a joke, you're electing your governor. What does your governor have for we sportsmen? Uh -huh. yeah? You're electing your MP. What is your MP telling you as a junior, yeah? as young people? Yeah? What is he plan for you as sportsmen? So we are telling when, you are, when they come to campaign to you, to your areas, ask them to tell you what, are the, what is their plan for we youth as cricketers, mm -hmm. yeah? We need, we need a venue. We need uh, the government, the county government to get involved in terms of funding. We don't expect them to fund 100%, yeah? But we will partner with the county governments that are ready to partner with us. And we'll definitely look for those partnerships very, very well. Let me just think of a, of a scenario because now we've got uh, I mean, development. Um, three years ago, there was a young man named Maxwell Aguirre who showed up at the Under-19 qualifiers for the Under-19 Cricket World Cup. And he became a sensation from Homer Bay. If I was to use where Maxwell Aguirre came from, what are the, some of the things that would be required? Uh, developing a cricket pitch that, you know, the, that weekend may be a hard call, but what are the equip what's the equipment that would be required if you are to go to the counties now? I think, uh, as, as I said earlier, what, you're, what we are ready to provide is the equipment. We will, we will support on them with the equipment and the expertise. So we'll train the coaches. And I, I said it earlier, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of number of teachers you mm -hmm. who want to get involved so we'll train the teachers but the next step would be we will try and station a few coaches there at the moment cricket kenya has employed 18 coaches mm -hmm. yeah but now because you've got 23 counties and you want to move to, to 47 counties we are looking at a maximum of 10 coaches per county for us to make to make a difference of five coaches five per county that means it comes with finances and that's what I'm saying. Your county government is very, very, very crucial. Because in terms of funding, we may train for them the expertise, yeah? And it'll create employment for the, for the use of that area, yeah? So we will, we will try and support in terms of equipment and in terms of uh, the coaches, which I'm saying the, the expertise and the training bit. So that is going to be the part, our part as Cricket Kenya, Oh, I think I'll speaking mm -hmm. on behalf of the chair on that. We and that is something which I've got very dear in my heart on about devolving cricket from the so called three counties in Nairobi, take it to Mashinani. So we will do that as part of our uh, part of our agenda and part of our program for this year. And Chairman, the constitution that has come in place is elaborate about the appointment of the chief executive officer who will also serve as the general secretary um, of the board on the, in, on the board as general secretary mm. and also the development director what is the plan now that would be there to see that these two positions are filled and also know that these people have got a term limit of three years i mean as an elected official you can serve for four yeah. up to eight the maximum this person can serve is six no, about the development mm -hmm. director and CEO, mm -hmm. uh, actually we, we, until now we haven't planned because obviously that will go on merit. So we cannot uh, just say, okay, this is a uh, development director who is going to come up or a CEO. Uh, we are going to take the interviews. Mm -hmm. we, we have a list for that. Yeah, uh, for a few CEOs and uh, even development directors. But as I said, uh, that will go on merit. Uh, we committee will sit together and uh, apart from com committee, we have uh, well-wishers, even our legends, we'll make them, we'll take their advices and uh, to see, yeah. Uh, and uh, so that, that will be on merit, yeah. 
The other one is, you know, you keep talking about financing. Yeah. The International Cricket Council, I know they had their representative from Zimbabwe. Uh, I know he came in and had to leave. But from the first conversation that you had with him after the election, yeah. what was his impression of the process in Kenya? Yeah, we, we had uh, a small, because uh, he was flying, yeah, he did not have enough time. But he was looking so positive and uh, was uh, so happy and glad that Kenya cricket now is uh, at least back, yeah. So, gave us a lot of uh, tips and uh, in fact, uh, we are uh, in touch with him. Uh, regarding the ICC things, matters, and uh, even sponsorships. When we talk about sponsorships, uh, we we got so many calls from our sponsors. You know, it's it's good that now people are aware that Kenya cricket is back, and uh, sponsors are also willing to come to Kenya and sponsors. We are lucky that uh, we have uh, people ready. We don't have to look for people. In fact, they have started looking for for us. So hopefully, very soon, very very soon. When I say very soon, means. Uh, uh, within a month or or two months, uh, we'll be having a continuously tournaments, uh, national level tournaments, yeah, uh, which will be lively streamed and uh, to bring the morale back to the national players and even uh, into Kenya. Uh -huh. yeah. And Kennedy, this is a build-up to a national team selection. I mean, um, 20 years ago, being called up to the national team was every player's dream, and the competition was harsh. Um, and I'll give a good example. You used to compete for the same position with your brother, David, yes. as wicket keeper. And normally it doesn't uh, happen. You'd have different roles. But what's the process now for the current national team? I think uh, the, chair, the chair said it earlier. The process has been very, 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 very thin at the moment because we jump from, from school cricket to club cricket, club cricket to the national team. Uh, in my view, I think it's a very short one. So that's why he is, he's really spoke about the tournament. So the yeah. tournament will make it a little bit more co competitive in terms of now you love, love school cricket, then from school cricket, you jump to club cricket, club cricket, and then to that tournament, and then from that tournament to the national team. So it's, it's going to be a little bit tighter, yeah? But, you know, we, 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 we can talk as much as, as Lady, Lady Justice Galwood said. The boardroom part is over. Now it is all implementing. Mm -hmm. Winning an election is, a, is something else, yeah? But now, running the association is again as totally as something else. But the blessings, and I said it earlier, the blessing of all we cricketers will be very, very, very crucial. We know all cricketers where the situation, what the situation is, and where we want to go as a country. So if you're not ready to be led, it's not also not easier to lead. So that's my, my view be, 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 be based on that. And Chairman, um, when looking at the board, we know that some members, uh, I mean, there are some people who did not meet the criteria that was set by the independent elect electoral panel. Um, what would be the plan to ensure that your board is fully constituted? Uh, I think David came with a very good plan today. We were discussing the same just today only. <laughs> if you can please explain that here, because we are just discussing the same. Uh, the plan that we have is, as much as possible, we will try and accommodate. Especially, we are looking at, um, as I said it earlier, we are looking at bringing everybody back uh -huh. to to the game. Ex international players, yeah. There is a huge role for all of us to play, yeah, for us to push the game back to where it was. And the first role will be, how do we get, the first role which is very, very important is, how do we unite? Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. The elections is over, yeah? If you had plans, your plans is our plan. So if you present your plans to the chair, who I think is a very soft-spoken person and very, very accommodative, he will listen to your views. We will put your views in part of our plans that we have. So as for us, our dream is to try and move forward as a group and it starts from the players from the ex-players the supporters the players who are there now the coaches and the supporting staff so how do we move forward and especially you guys members of the media you play a very big role for helping us move forward as a group yes. and uh chairman uh, i want to come to you and there's something you said on you mentioned on saturday is that given the decline of the sport in the country this is about revival 
and it may take time it may take six years it may take <laughs> it may take 10 years what's the whole i um messaging and you know working such that you're working patiently looking at what's immediate and also looking at what's long term yeah immediately when we say looking uh, at immediate that is our national team and that is our first priority mm -hmm. to bring them back as soon as possible uh, to the ground and uh, uh, make them continuously training and giving them uh, games and uh, secondly when we talk about long term long term meanwhile uh, we have the counties now uh, when you talk uh, about the grassroots so that should also mm -hmm. uh, that is also in our program and that should also continues yeah so even grassroots level that is different than the which i said it can bring maybe five years ten years so that is now grassroots uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me interrupt you, Chairman. We get back to a conversation, and this is around cricket. A new board was elected on Saturday, and I've got two members of the board on my immediate left. I've got the uh, newly elected Chairman Manoj Patel and Kennedy Obuya, who is the county's and associations representative. And there is a conversation that you're having um, about immediate things that need to be done and how to get players ready for the national team. Chairman, you were explaining that it's important, and like Kennedy had highlighted, that if you move from schools cricket, you move on to club cricket, then there must be an elite league in between you uh, being there and uh, you getting a call up to the national team. Tell us how this elite league would work. Elite league uh, is like uh, we, we need to have uh, something like IPL, those kind of tournaments, yeah? Uh, uh, and for that, we can invite, uh, like we did in our past tournament, we can uh, invite few players, uh, or we can say we can have a number like three to four players in every team. We can have uh, six teams and uh, four players. Uh, we can invite them and mix two into uh, all six teams. And uh, with our obviously national teams and our neighbor, Uganda, Tanzania is there, Zimbabwe players are there. Uh, so I think that, that will make a sense because, you know, every time when we keep on playing against the same bowler, same batsman, yeah, they are used to with each other and when our team goes uh, or any team comes here to play with a national team, we don't see a performance. So uh, to me, it's not right to blame our players because they are not getting those kind of opportunities. So I uh, think like this elite, it will be a good thing, yeah. And Kennedy, you know how important uh, that kind of league is. Um, with the immediate national team assignment, what are the things that players should you know, know having played at the highest level for Kenya for 10 years? Uh, first is hard work. There's no shortcut. It's got to be a lot of hard work. And what we have, uh, and the chairman has said, we are committed to do the hard work on our part. So it's going to be upon them also to try and do hard work. So we're looking at, we'll try and improve the facilities, mm -hmm. yeah, which is one of the biggest challenges that we're having. So how can we have four nets or five nets a bowling machine, a, uh, enough uh, cricket balls for practice for the national team, yeah? But the players must commit themselves to that process because it's all hard work. We need that, as I said earlier, we need to pull our hands all together for us to move forward. It's, we need the players to be part of us moving forward. They've got to be sure that they're really committed, yeah? With the process mm -hmm. for us to turn it around and take it to where it was. Enough matches, obviously. Yeah. We must give them enough matches uh, for a good level of uh, matches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, something else is, you know, for the last 11 months, the government has been running, overseeing cricket in this country. The question now is, how do you now continue that relationship with them? Um, the fact that the registrar of, uh, the sports registrar is happy with Cricket Kenya complying with the Sports Act, then how do you want to, you know, leverage on that? If I may just say a little bit on that. Uh, first, I uh, said that, and my plea would be to, them, to the minister, Amina Mohammed. She can't leave us now. We need her more now than ever. Uh -huh. We'll try and do our part, but there's a process that the government, especially as since I started playing cricket, it's for the first time in history that uh, the government has come in and fully sponsored cricket. So they have sponsored the two tours for the um, a national team and one tour for the two tours for the ladies team so those were four tours and they pumped in a lot of money towards those tours yeah uh, cricket kenya never removed not even a single cent all the funding was coming from 
uh, the government. That's, I said, big, 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 huge plus sign for Amina Mwandi. She's turned it around. And you're pleading to her again. She can't leave us now. We need her more now, yeah, to try and support us because it's a very fragile situation at the moment. Yeah, in terms of you've got these two tours, which are, which are going to be World Cup qualification, one in Uganda and one in Jersey, yeah. If we qualify on those two, then we qualify for the World Cup. So we need her to support us on those two tours, yeah, so that we can move the next process. So the government will play a very, very, very key role at the moment with the ministry. I've been, uh, we have been totally trying to in touch with the Indakwa, who is in, who is in, who is, uh, mm -hmm. in the in normalization yeah. committee and Dr. Ongeti, and they're very supportive on this. So what you're pleading, and I'm pleading again, Waziri, we need you now more than we needed you before. So this is the, this is the time that we need to move forward, yeah? And we need the government to help us move forward. Even this tournament that you're talking about, we need foreigners to come here. The government must support us for us to all these tournaments in terms of security, in terms of the grounds, yeah? Those are the things that we need the government for support. And also talking with the International Cricket Council, we know the kind of funding that would come through. Um, I know Kenya is still a long way from qualifying for a Cricket World Cup. The criteria has been made very, uh, it's very difficult, but the development money that's, you know, to get back that, to get back the ICC sending in money, what are some of the immediate conversations you'd like to, from them? Uh, first, before my chairman says, first of all, you must understand we have lost, we had lost about three years of funding. Yes. So the first thing that uh, as a board and the chairman will, will definitely try and handle is how do we get yeah, those three years funding that we've missed? Yeah? What is the process? And that's what he said earlier. Uh, we'll start that process when you have our first board meeting yeah, to see how we can get that funding. Because that funding will help us for preparation and will help us especially. Uh, for me, it will really support on the counties. With the counties really they need that funding for us to keep uh, to keep going mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, meanwhile you see the, as kennedy said it it is a little bit a small pro procedure for that and we can uh, not wait for that procedure it might take two weeks or even a two months and uh, that's why these are our sponsors our well-wishers and the government uh, those will be very important mm -hmm. by uh -huh. then and Final remarks uh, that I would like, you know, Kennedy, for you to, uh, for you first. What is it that you would like from those who are in the coaching and competition side in cricket? What is it that you'd like them to do and also, you know, come together and talk about so that there is some activity and people get back to the stands? I think dialogue, dialogue, dialogue and unity, unity, unity. That's what we're asking for. If we get all of us get together, we'll achieve what, what we, want to, we want to achieve. I think, uh, as I said it earlier, the government have, have done their part. They have put cricket back on track, which thanks to Amina Mohammed once again, that she's made us go one step by putting us back on track and putting us back on the good, good books of ICC. Now, it's upon us, we cricketers, to decide what our destiny is. It doesn't matter whether, uh, I'd say it again, it doesn't matter whether you won or you lost. A win for Manoj is a win for all of us as cricketers. Let's all rally behind him and try and support him and see how can we improve this lovely sport? How can a kid in my village, in uh, Homer Bay County, gets a chance, or in Siaya, gets a chance to play this lovely sport and earn a living through the, the sports? So mine is my parting shot is unity, unity, unity. Chairman Manoj Patel, your parting shot. <laughs> Closing words. Uh, no, I will just say thank you for inviting us. And uh, we are ready to go. And uh, uh, to start as soon as possible. The cricket, the players must be on the ground as soon as possible. Yeah, that is it. All right. Thank you very much, Manoj Patel, yep. newly elected chairman of the Cricket Kenya Board, and Kennedy Obuya. He is the county association's representative of the Cricket Kenya Board that was elected on Saturday. Over the next few weeks, let's see how this changes, and we'll keep tabs on this as they work together with the International Cricket Council and the State Department for Sports to revive cricket in Kenya.